Shalom, Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, by Serbia Shai, by Shimmer Kakwadash, Double Honor, to the elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect other nation of Israel, and to speckle bird Israelites that are scattered abroad across the four quarters of the earth. To y'all say Shalom, and Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening to these videos, and Shalom to all you brothers and all you Akiyam that's out there in the highways and byways doing the work of the Lord. In these latter days, shall I wake up the elect? Um, two thirds of our people will be destroyed. Um, and I also wanted to say that the Israelites, who we call today so called black, so called Hispanic, so called Native American, so called um, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Jamaican, the Haitian, um, Guatemalans, the Panamanians, those are the Israelites always have been and always will be, contrary to the popular belief that we're just what, the, what they call us, you know. Um, I basically come back at y'all with another video, um, you know, on the, you know, Elon Musk, you know, hey, his Neuralink, man, you know, which is that MOTB, right? Um, and we know that this is one of the last major prophecies that had to take place, um, you know, before we get up out of here, Lord willing, you know? Um, and I think they said, um, they were supposed to start doing human trials in like the next six months, I believe. You know, but there's gonna come a day, you know, when this becomes, you know, mandated. Right? Yeah. You know, they're in the child. They say they're in the child run phase and testing phase, and they're gonna deceive people into getting this, man. You know, they're gonna they're gonna um <clears throat> advertise it and market it. Market it as a something that's a benefit and a gain to your life. You know that's how they're gonna, they're gonna get people, or they're gonna make it something that you need. You know, like that's why I said they're gonna mandate it, right? Because the scriptures say, "Let's get the scripture," right? Let's get that scripture. Um, revelations, you know, which everybody should know this by now, right? This is uh, Revelation 13 and um, verse 16. It says that he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and blind, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their forehead, right? And that no man might buy or sell, save that he had that karagma in the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see, so it doesn't matter, you know, where you at um, in this society, like as far as your status, how big you are, you know, whether you, you know, locked up, whether you free, and you're going to have to get this, man. You ain't going to be able to uh, make transactions, make purchases without it, right? You know, like I said, that's why I said it's going to be mandated, but our elders and apostles of the Great Millstone have been, have been speaking on, on this for years, you know, for 30 years, 40 years plus. You know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, it's coming to pass now. You know, I can only imagine how great they feel, you know, after seeing, you know, this come to pass after so long they've been teaching, right? You know? Um, and, and it's happened, man. You know? This is, a, this is a great thing as far as prophecy seek. You know? Um... And at this point, you you can't even you can't even deny it, man. I mean, I did a video. I think it might have been a month and a half ago or two months ago. Now I did a video on it was a girl on TikTok. I think her name was Chip Girl or something like it. I think that's what it was. But um, yeah, I think that's what I think that's what it was. Chip Girl. Uh, I mean, you know, she she used it to you know open. Open uh doors, you know, to her dresser. Open open doors. Open her car door, you know, stuff like that. And then I think her husband had one, you know, like I said, the C H I P inserted in your hand. That's why I say that's why I say in your forehead or in your right hand, right? You know, that's how they're gonna market it to you, man. Making like I said earlier, you know, in the ways it can benefit you, you know, be an addition to your life. But when you, if you take this, that's basically you saying that you're their slave, you know, officially, like forever, you know. But we know what we know that the Lord's not gonna allow them to, you know, do every single person, 
on the planet, uh, most people, or the majority of them, yes, right? But he ain't gonna get the elect of Israel, right? And who is that? Esau Edom, which is the biblical nationality of the so-called white race. That's who the earth has been given there to, you know? Um, they're not gonna get the elect, man, and uh, the penalties for not taking this is gonna be, uh, what is it, um... In, in the 15th verse of this chapter, it says that he had power to give life, right? Like I said, that he is Esau Edom, the biblical nationality of the so-called white man. It says that he had power to give life to the image, meaning uh, his images, his ways, his philosophies of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you don't want to worship his ways, you don't want to bow down to his philosophies, right? You know, hey, you're going to have to, you know, go into that guillotine soon because that's scriptural too. I think that's in uh, either Revelation, the fifth chapter or the sixth chapter where it talks about the uh, those men that will be martyrs, man. You know, for not um, receiving their MOTB. You know, let's get this in the book of uh, Habakkuk um, real quick. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. And that vision is talking about these prophecies. And in this, in this video, you know, this prophecy is coming to pass very quickly. Right? Everybody has heard of the MOTB being the CHIP, man. If you ain't speaking on this, right, this major thing that's, that was going to come to pass, that's very close to coming to pass... Hey, the Lord either blinded you or, you know, you either took that bag. You know, um, let's get this in uh, Revelation, I mean, uh, Romans 13 and 11, not Revelation, Salakia. Romans, I think it was Romans 13 and 11, right? Because it says, And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation is nearer than what we believed, right? You know, all these things coming to pass, you know, uh, them, you know, they supposed to be still coming out with that, um, CBDC, um, you know, thing in, uh, December 13th. But like I said, we'll, we'll see, you know, because everything ain't going to just transfer over like that. You know, we know that there's certain things, they have to cause something catastrophic for, uh, them to bring in that new way of a uh, new way of living or that new system, that new money system. You know, um, it ain't gonna just, you know, crash instantly. It ain't gonna happen. You know, they do things gradually, but you know, even though it's gradual, gradual, you know, it's still moving fast at the same time, right? Because this is next year, I think. Uh, you know, when they wanna uh start doing these human trials for this, you know. Which is the MOTB, man. And, and, you know, if you take this, man, hey, the Lord is going to destroy you. You know? The, the Lord ain't going to save you. The, well, the Lord ain't saving no other nation outside of the Israelites anyway. You know? But, and, and within the Israelites, he's only saving the elect of Israel. You know, right? The 144,000, which are all men. And you have um, the rest of the uh, innumerable multitude of Israelites that will be saved, which include men, women, and children. Right? But the 144,000 is just like the hierarchy of the elect that's going to be saved. Right? Um, <clears throat> let's get this. Um, let's get uh, Revelations. I think it's Revelations 14. All right? Is it Revelations 14? I thought it was. Salak here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is Revelation 14 and verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying, This is the penalty if you for if you take that thing. Well, first and foremost, if you take it, you ain't a part of you like anyway. Right? Um Revelation 14 and 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image 
and receive his karagma in their forehead or in their hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. So, the wine, it's not talking about a literal wine, right? That wine is symbolically talking about that fire, man, right? That is talking, it's comparing the, you know, uh, the way he's going to judge you as like a wine. Not a, you know, like not like a literal. It's not a literal word, but it's just it's just saying it as that way. It says, "Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he should be tormented with fire and brimstone." How is that fire gonna get on get on the earth through the missiles hitting the earth in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb, which is Yahweh? Right? It says, "And the smoke of their torment ascended up to forever and ever, meaning a long time, and they have and they have no rest day nor night." Who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the karagma of his name, you see, because you, you know you you take that thing, you basically say that, like I said, you're his property, man. That's like a modern day uh, slave branding when you, when you take that thing. You know, it's 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 not it's not gonna just be, it's not a way to to benefit you, and and that's it. No, there's a deeper meaning to that. Right, these devils, you know, they think that they're the Lord. They think that they don't, that the Lord don't exist, or the Lord ain't gonna do nothing. You know, they got all this power, but the, or the Lord has deceived them. Right, you know, um, the scriptures say, um, Esau has thought that the Lord is was as him. You know, Esau thinks the Lord is on his side. You know, because they haven't been judged for you know centuries for doing doing wrong and doing evil. They've been getting away with it for you know a long time. You know, and, and uh, on our timeline, you know, so they think that they're gonna just be able to do this, and that's they're gonna have everybody chipped, and that's gonna be it. Nah, that's not gonna be it, you know, because the Lord's gonna intervene. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, they ain't gonna get the elect, man. That's not gonna happen, right? Um, and if you thinking that, if you bugged out, you thinking that that's just going to be a way. You just going, like I said, you just want them, Jace. You think it's, it's just going to benefit you. You're going to keep living. Like I said, the Lord don't want you, man. The, the scriptures say the deceived and the deceiver are his. Let's get this in the book of uh, John real quick. Now, this is not what that scripture says, but I was just quoting another scripture. I think that was in Job, the one I just quoted. But uh, this is Joel, I mean, uh, John chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that enter not by the door into the sheepfold, but climb up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Right now, this is particularly talking about, you know, going into other doctrines or going into other philosophies. Well, you choosing anything that Esau gives you is basically the same to anything. Because if you take his, you know, his uh, incision, right, his branding, you know, you you follow his ways. That's your God. You know, because that's a physical physical uh thing on you, right? Um, well, the elect have a, a a mark on them, but it's a spiritual mark, right? You know, it says, "But he that enter entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep." You see, so there's a, that door is Yahweh, shot, man. You know, you you can't g try to get to eternal life or try to. You know, do it no other way, man. Because Esau's way of eternal life is is wickedness, man. He's using witchcraft and necromancy and you know sorcery. Him making these robots, all this stuff is sorcery and witchcraft, man. That's wickedness, man. You know, because Esau's trying to complete that blessing on the left hand side, but it was given to us immortality, everlasting life, being gods on the earth. That ain't given to Esau either. That's why he. That's why he's doing all this too. He's trying to get that birthright, right? You know, we ain't, we ain't gonna have to chip people to get them to to follow us, man. Well, it ain't about following the Israelites. It's about following Yahweh Shemayahu because we're going to be changed, right? And Yahweh Shemayahu the, the Most High Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are our creators, man. And we're His people, the Israelites. You so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans. We have to follow Him, and then you other nations, y'all gonna follow follow. You know, uh, Yahweh Shemayahu Shai too, but we are gonna teach y'all His ways in the kingdom after y'all go into slavery. Right? So, you know, we're going to need to do all this, you know, to uh, put this in your head. We're going to do all that. That's wickedness, man. Um, and the scriptures say you ain't even supposed to make a cutting in your flesh. Right? But, you know, if you, if you, uh, you know, if you a party elect, you ain't going to have to worry about that, man. You know, 
the Lord's gonna make a way for you, man. Or you know, or you just gonna, you know, you gonna deny it and you know, you gonna get that uh guillotine and hey, you gonna go to the spiritual room, but you gonna be asleep for you know, a couple. You ain't gonna be asleep that long, you know. Sleep, you know, means dead, but you really ain't dead. You just you know transferred over. But uh, let me get this real quick to not close out. This is Revelations uh three and ten. It says, uh, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world and to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right? So, you know, this is talking about the elect, the Lord keeping them, you know, during that hour of temptation when they had to decide, people had to decide whether or not they're going to take that, that thing, that CHIP, the MOTB, or whether they're going to, you know, trust the Yahweh Shem Yahweh you know, and you know, as we still keep in His ways and we follow Him after Him, the Lord's gonna keep us in that time, man. When it's when it's mandated, you know, right now it's not it's not mandated, you know. But there will be a day when it will be mandated, and you ain't gonna have no choice, you know. And they're gonna they're gonna deceive people, man, you know. But it's it's really Yahvashim Yahushai. But just know, man, you know, you've been warned, man. But you know. Everybody has heard about this, man, and we're at, we're, we're finally here, you know. It's a lot here for that, um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a little quick video on this, you know, a little update, you know. Hey, you know, we almost up out of here, man. 2023 could be the year, um, you know, who knows, you know, who knows, but I know we close, you know, um. But yeah, you know, like I said, keep an eye out on this prophecy, man, because this is one of the last prophecies we got left, you know. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. Right, so lucky for that again. Uh, but yeah, Lord willing, this is edifying. We'll close out. Um, I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, HaKakwadash. Um, the devil honors the elders of the great millstone and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Um, shalom. Wah, 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 w